Hey guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Today we're going to do a review on Nova Launcher for Android. Now this is one of the most important apps I use um, on all my devices. The reason being is that I'm constantly rooting my phone, my tablet, and I don't want to have to rearrange and add apps to my desktop every single time I put a new um, version of Android on. So this app takes care of that problem because, uh, as you can see, let me head over to the desktop real quick. I have my complete, my entire desktop backed up to a Nova Launcher file so that every time I install, say, Lollipop or KitKat or whatever, all I have to do is install Nova Launcher and restore my desktop from the backed up file. And it even brings my widgets back, brings everything back, which is really great. Um, now, there are two versions of this app. There is the free ver version, which works perfectly fine. That's the one I use. There's also a paid version which uh, gives you some more themes, some more customiz uh, more settings that you can customize, I don't know, like transitions, um, some more themes for icons, that sort of thing. But like I said, the free version works perfectly fine. Um, the beauty of this app is that not only can you restore from a backed up file your entire desktop, but it also gives you uh, five screens right off the bat. Now, normal launchers, um, like say Google Now Launcher or Synogemod Launcher or even um, the TouchWiz Launcher for Samsung, they generally only now allow you to um, add more screens to the right and you've got to drag an app to create a new screen and then you might get one to the left and that's about it. But with Nova Launcher it gives you five screens right off the bat. It gives you one in the middle which is your home screen and then you've got two screens to the left and you've got two screens to the right. That's a really nice feature to have and also the transitioning it's almost like a cube as you can see here as I'm dragging slowly over the screen. Much more smooth, much more aesthetically pleasing. Um, it also gives you some really nice features when it comes down to adding wallpaper. Now, um, usually when adding wallpaper to an Android device, it can be quite hard to get the picture just perfect in the middle of your screen. But Nova Launcher makes this really easy. So if I click on wallpapers here after holding down on the home screen, I've got a choice of all these different areas to get my wallpaper from. I'm going to go to my gallery. I'm going to go to my download folder. And I'm just going to redo the one that I already had on there because I can kind of make my point by doing it this way. Now, normally this is how it looks when you're trying to add an app. And generally when you do do it like this, um, you're never going to get it perfectly on the screen. So up here in the top right hand corner, it gives you a bunch of different options to do full, portrait, landscape, or square. Now landscape is the option I generally use the most. And it allows me to create a much bigger wallpaper. And I can fit much more of the wallpaper on my screen, which is really nice. And I can drag it and align it properly so I have even black areas on the left and right. That's good enough. And then I can just press OK. And bam. There it is on my screen. Okay, now all the settings can be found through your app drawer. So up in the top right hand corner, you've got a little settings tab now, and you can go to Nova Settings, and all your settings are here. Now, another really important setting to Nova Launcher is that you have the ability to customize the desktop grid, the width margin, and the height margin. Now, the desktop grid is how many columns and rows you have on the desktop to add apps on. Now, as you can see here on my desktop, my apps are actually really close, closer than most stock versions of Android to the edge of the screen that you're going to get. Um, the reason being is because I can adjust that margin. And generally, when you have a plain old Snowjamod or Google Plus on that's not been modified, your apps are by default going to be about a centimeter to a centimeter and a half within the screen. And you're not actually going to be able to, to put anything right close to the edge. Nova Launcher allows me to bring my apps as close as I can to the to the edge of the screen. And actually, I probably could go even closer than I am now. Now, by adding more room, uh, rows and columns, I can now add more widgets than um, normal Android users uh, would be capable of. So I could fit way more, way more widgets 
on my desktop screen. Also, my actual app icons are a little bit smaller than what they would be if I hadn't adjust the rows and columns, which is also really nice because I find that the apps are definitely way too big by default. Let's head back to the settings. And I'll go back to the desktop. And so here, when you click on desktop grid, as you can see, you can just swipe to change the um, number of rows and columns. And same with the width margin, it gives you four options, none, small, medium, and large. So it looks like I'm on none, so I really can't go any further than I am. And you've got a height margin, which basically will determine how far your app's bar is from the bottom of the screen. You can also add more um, placeholders for apps on your app's bar at the bottom. So I think the default was six or five or whatever. I have now nine, and that includes the button, which you can actually move around to different spots. I like it in the middle, so that's where I keep it. Let's head back to the settings. And here you have uh, drawer effects, uh, and you customize the drawer exactly the same way you can customize the desktop. You can do an app grid, so you can have more apps represented on the first page of apps that you have. You've also got your dock settings, so this is where you can change how many dock icons you have, um, the height of it, the width of it, all those things. You can also make it so that you can um, actually swipe the, um, the dock so that you can have different docks. Uh, you've got folder settings. You can change it from a circle like I have on my desktop or you can change it to something else. You've got look and feel and it comes with some icon theming. You can change the icon to, lo to lollipop, KitKat, or s the stock system icons. You can customize your gesture settings to do different things. You've got some OK Google settings, uh, new app settings, so you can here you can uh, enable a setting where uh, every new app that you install will automatically be um, put on your desktop. And then you got your most important settings, which are your backup and import settings. These are the most important to me, anyway. And that's about it, guys. Um, this is a must-have launcher for any serious Android user, in my point of view. If you're doing a lot of rooting and trying out ROMs, um, whether it be on the Tab Pro 12.2, or if you've got an S3 or an S5, whatever you've got... Um, as long as you're doing a lot of customization, you're installing new ROMs, um, Nova Launcher is something you're definitely going to want to look into just because of that backup feature. It just saves you a good hour of time having to drag and drop your apps to your desktop and reposition your widgets and you know um, resize them to just how you like them and, and all that bullshit that comes with having to uh, reinstall Android or adding a new ROM. So if this video helped you guys, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. There'll be more app reviews coming and um, some new Rome uh, reviews in the future. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Bye.